Who is Katie Rose? A very interesting question that I ask myself pretty much every day. She's very overly sensitive, empathetic, charismatic, eccentric, depressed, imaginative, very spacey, airy, fairy kind of girl. Out of bed at the crack of noon, layer the music and have a swoon. I can't stop thinking of your face. La, 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 la. When I'm performing, I'm really just, I'm not really in my body. I'm in this different world, this different dimension that I go to. It's like my safe place. And it's just so magical. Overdrive, it's a paradox. It, it contradicts itself. It's about teenage star Hollywood Los Angeles wasteland where people come and everybody wants to be in show business and have dreams and be independent and usually, you know, their dreams are crushed. Yeah, my heart's on overdrive. My music influences go on and on. Janis Joplin is just a god. Led Zeppelin, Joni Mitchell, Nico, The Velvet Underground. I want to live before I die. So Those artists inspired me because their lyrics are just so from the heart and soul felt. And I think that we're really lacking that now. How things could have gone, the reason that it took so long. I love Old Jewel and Fiona Apple. For so long I was about to break. I have to say, those records have saved my life sometimes. You might just turn into something I like. You might just turn something I like is it, it starts out very, very strong and me kind of breaking through of all the self-loathing that I have in myself. It's about being appreciative for what you have in the moment. Myself into the rain as we run down these old train tracks again. The moon is naked in the sky, so maybe you and I could fly. Teaching myself to dream is a hopeful song. It's saying that, you know what, I can teach myself to hope and dream and love. I don't have to be in that dark place. Because I can, this record and the songs have a lot to do with hope. And I want the listeners to go away feeling like if they're living in a dark place in their head, they don't have to live there anymore. There's hope and you can get out of it. I really. I don't really think about the future that often because it gives me anxiety. Usually, I just try to stay in the present and think about all and be grateful for all of the wonderful, amazing things in my life now, not thinking about what I'm gonna do tomorrow or the next day or the next week or the next year or the next 50 years from now. I don't like to think about that because whatever is going to happen, it's meant to happen and it will because I believe in fate.